For this tutorial, we have pre-installed the Roof Deck OSB board. Tools required. Cordless drill with countersink, countersunk screws, belt sander, leaf blower. No materials required. It's important to countersink the screw holes in the roof deck for a flat surface to install the membrane onto. So we have pre-screwed in and removed the screws. Use a cordless drill with countersink to prepare the holes for countersunk screws. Use a cordless drill to screw into the roof deck. Make sure all screw heads are countersunk into the roof deck for a flush finish. Use a belt sander to sand the joints on the roof deck for a smooth finish to apply the EPDM membrane to. Use a leaf blower to remove all dust and debris from the roof deck. Tools required. Combination square, marker pen, heat gun, scribe. No materials required. Set a combination square ruler to 150 millimeters. Use the combination square to mark out the edges of the roof deck for contact bonding adhesive application. Mark out the full perimeter at 150 millimeters. Unroll the fleece-backed EPDM membrane and position it onto the roof deck. Cut the length to overhang the roof edge by 100 millimeters. Fold the membrane back and use a pencil to mark the fold to 150 millimeters all along the previously marked roof deck perimeter. So the membrane's contact adhesive area corresponds with the roof deck's contact adhesive area. Tools required. Medium pile paint roller and pole, broom, craft knife, pencil, spirit level, paint brush, silicon roller, hammer, ring shank nails. Materials required. Fleece backed EPDM membrane, water based deck adhesive, EPDM primer, contact bonding adhesive, lengths of gutter trim. Fold the membrane back to a manageable size. Use a paint roller and pole to apply an even coat of water-based deck adhesive for fleece-backed EPDM to the exposed side of the roof deck within the marked area 150 millimeters from the roof edge. Roll the fleece-backed membrane onto the coated side of the roof deck. Refollow these steps to apply the adhesive and fleece-backed membrane to the next section of roof deck. Use a broom to press the membrane onto the roof deck, remove any air bubbles and ensure a good bond between the membrane and roof deck. Roll the top sheet of fleece-backed membrane onto the roof deck alongside the bottom sheet. Use a craft knife to cut the length to overhang the roof edge by 100 millimeters. Fold back the lap edge of the top sheet to check the seam tape on its edge is correctly overlapping the blank edge of the bottom sheet. Make sure the top sheet is correctly aligned throughout. Fold back the membrane and use a pencil to mark 150 mm strips along all outer edges of the sheet. Fold the membrane back to a manageable size. Use a paint roller and pole to apply an even coat of water-based deck adhesive for fleece-backed EPDM to the exposed side of the roof deck within the marked area 150 mm from the roof edge. Roll the fleece-backed membrane onto the coated side of roof deck and press into place by hand. Refollow these steps to apply the adhesive and fleece-backed membrane to the next section of roof deck. Use a broom to press each section of membrane onto the roof deck. Push out to remove any air bubbles from underneath the membrane. This will ensure a good adhesive bond between the membrane and roof deck. Use a spirit level straight edge to mark the surface of the bottom sheet to create a prime line. Use a paint brush to apply EPDM primer along the edge of the bottom sheet within and 10 mm past the prime line. Wait for EPDM primer to be touched dry. 
Lift the edge of the top sheet up and peel the seam tape backing strip off at a 45 degree angle. Follow with your other hand as you do so and smooth the membrane into place. Press the overhanging section of the top sheet of membrane down onto the primed area of the overhanging section of the bottom sheet of membrane. Use a silicon roller to apply pressure and activate the seam tape throughout the length of the join. Make sure to apply pressure to the edge of the join. Fold the membrane back. Apply contact bonding adhesive to the 150mm strip along the roof deck edge and the underside of the fleece-backed membrane. Use a piece of wood to protect the fascia and everything underneath it. Wait for contact bonding adhesive to be touch dry. Fold the membrane back down and smooth this into place by hand. Apply contact bonding adhesive along the back wall 150mm roof deck strip. Apply contact bonding adhesive to the back wall upstand up to 150mm. This will often be the house wall, but is represented here by a simple timber upstand. Wait for contact bonding adhesive to be touch dry. Lay the membrane onto the 150mm strip of back wall roof deck. Firmly press the membrane into the 90 degree angle change. This will avoid the membrane pulling away, known as tenting, as you lift it up and onto the wall upstand. Lift up and press the membrane onto the back wall upstand. Position the gutter trim back plate on the fascia batten. Make sure it's one or two millimeters lower than the roof deck surface. Hammer ring shank nails along the gutter trim back plate to secure it to the fascia batten. Apply contact bonding adhesive along the front edge of the roof deck. Wait for contact bonding adhesive to be touch dry. Fold the membrane back down onto the contact bonding adhesive and smooth it into place. Fold the membrane back and use a paintbrush to apply EPDM primer to the batten and gutter trim back plate. Wait for contact bonding adhesive to be touch dry. Remove the fleece backed membrane seam tape backing strip and fold the membrane down onto the gutter trim back plate. Smooth into place by hand. Tools required Craft knife, tape measure, scribe, scissors, paintbrush, silicon roller, penny roller, sealant gun. Materials required 9 inch uncured flashing tape, EPDM primer, lap edge sealant. Use a craft knife to cut the membrane at a 45 degree angle at the wall termination where the roof deck and fascia meet the wall. Use a scribe to mark 150 millimeters in on both sides of a piece of 9 inch, which is 225 millimeters uncured flashing tape. Use scissors to cut the tape across these marks and create a 150 mm wide patch. Cut curved corners on one end. Position the patch as a guide. Use a scribe to draw around the patch and create a prime line. Use a paintbrush to apply EPDM primer within and 5 to 10 mm past the prime line. Wait for EPDM primer to be touched dry. Remove the poly backing from the patch, apply the patch, start from the top and work down. Make sure to tightly work it into the angle change. Use a silicon roller and a penny roller as required to apply pressure to the patch and work it into all the angle changes. Use a sealant gun to apply a protective bead of lap edge sealant around the edge of the patch. Tools required Hammer Ring shank nails Mini paint roller Poly top nails Fixing pins Materials required Lengths of gutter trim Contact bonding adhesive Position the gutter trim front plate onto the membrane covered back plate Hammer a poly top nail into each of the pre-drilled holes 
Hammer a fixing pin into the gutter trim at the corner. Tools required. Tape measure. Pencil. Fine tooth handsaw or multi cutter. Hammer. 50mm polytop nails. Materials required. Lengths of raised curb trim. Use a small, fine tooth handsaw or a multi cutter to cut the lengths of raised curb trim to the correct length. Position them at the roof edges. Remove the protective film from the length of raised curb trim. Fold and tuck the membrane into the corner. Remove the protective film from the foam strip. Press the raised curb trim down into position. Compress the foam strip by 70% for a watertight seal. Hammer a polytop nail into each of the pre-drilled holes along the length of raised curb trim. Hammer a fixing pin into the raised curb trim at the corner. Refollow these steps to install raised curb trim on the other side of the roof. Tools required. Craft knife. Materials required. Raised curb trim external corners, super glue, super glue activator. Snap out the raised curb trim side of the external corner component. Apply super glue to one inside edge of the gutter trim external corner to allow for expansion and contraction. Apply super glue activator to the corresponding corner area of the fitted raised curb trim. Press the external corner component down and into the gutter trim corner. Hold in place until fully adhered. Refollow these steps to install the external corner component on the other side of the roof. Use a craft knife to trim any excess membrane to the bottom edge of the trim. Be careful not to damage the fascia board.